In this video, we're going to discuss the integral test for convergence. Uh, the integral test says that if f is positive, continuous, and decreasing for all x is greater than or equal to 1, and the series is equal to the function, then the series and the function either both converge or both diverge. Now, this is a very limited test because you have to show that it's positive, continuous, and decreasing. If any of those three things are not true, then you cannot use the integral test. Also, you only want to use the integral test when it's easy to integrate. That's kind of a G-duh. So let's go ahead and take a look at one. Uh, does the series converge or diverge using the integral test? Well, this series is from 1 to infinity of n over n squared plus 1. So let's go ahead and take a look first at is every term positive. Well, if we start plugging in n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, and we look at it, there's no way to make a negative term. So yes, every term is positive. Second, is this function continuous? Now, for continuous, we need to think about are there any holes? Are there any jumps? Are there any vertical asymptotes? Uh, in other words, does the two-sided limit equal the value at the point? And for this particular function, yes, indeed, it does. Thirdly, is this a decreasing series? Do the terms get smaller and smaller and smaller as we head to infinity. Well, heading to infinity is end behavior, and this is a low high, and a low high is indeed going to go to zero, so it is decreasing. So we can use the integral test, but we had to go through all of those steps to make sure we could. So let's go ahead and start by rewriting this as an infinite integral. So from 1 to infinity of x over x squared plus 1 dx. Well, remember, if we're doing an improper integral, now we're doing the limit. So limit as l approaches infinity, uh, the integral from 1 to l of x over x squared plus 1 dx. Well, this is a u sub. So u is x squared plus 1, du is 2x dx. So if we would like to put a 2 here, then we need to put a 1 half on the outside. So let me raise this up so we can have a little more space. So now uh, we can go ahead and do our u sub over here. We've got 1 half integral 1 over u du, which is, of course, natural log. So we have 1 half natural log absolute value x squared plus 1 from 1 to L. So 1 half limit as L approaches infinity. We've got the natural log of the absolute value of L squared uh, plus 1 minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1 squared plus 1. Well, this back term is natural log of 2, but our front term, as we go to infinity, it's going to go to infinity, which gives us a result of infinity, which means this particular series diverges.